Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we will understand and learn what is contract testing. Let us talk about a very typical client and service architecture where we have a service consumer and we have a service provider. The service consumer sends a request to the service provider and the service provider sends back the response. So this is how the communication takes place. Now before I go further and explain what is contract testing, let us take a step back and understand what is microservice or what are microservices. Now in earlier days and even today sometimes we use monolithic architecture and here all the services of an application are packaged in a single package and we have a single application layer and then we have a single database for all the services. Today in most of the cases we use microservices and if you go to Google and just search for microservices versus monolithic and here are some images and if I show you this image you can see here on this left hand side we have monolithic architecture where we have all the services packaged in a single package using a single database however if you see here the microservices architecture we have different microservices or different modules are hosted and developed as multiple and different microservices all these services are isolated and separate from each other and in most of the cases these services have their own database as well so this is how we implement microservices and this is the microservice architecture and it has lots of advantages because each service is separate we can do enhancements separately without impacting any other microservices we can do scale up scale down and everything so this is what we call as microservices now here as we have microservice architecture we have every module created developed hosted and maintained as a separate service so for example we can have user service login service registration products inventory and so on now all these services talk to each other and communicate between each other and we have some rules that guide this communication so coming back to our service client and service architecture here the service consumer so you can take an example like a service consumer can be a login service the service provider can be a user service or anything basically the service consumer creates some rules or contracts for this communication and the reason the consumer creates this contract and not service provider is because the consumer knows what exactly he needs what are the options what are the features or what are the parameters he needs out of the service and therefore this contract is created by the service consumer and therefore it is also sometimes called as consumer driven contract testing and the service provider checks and verifies this contract and based on the rules in the contract the communication takes place and that is what we call as contract testing i have also written an article on my website automationstepbystep.com what is contract testing so you can read this and we have some tools for contract testing like pact and here is a diagram as well so you can also read about pact how we can do contract testing using this tool and this is how we can do contract testing and this is all about contract testing i hope this was very useful for you thank you for watching